Okay, so first of all, we're going to go through the sort of tools that you might need, and certainly for some applications, you'll need some of these tools. But you'll need, say, you need to be able to strip the cable. Well, first of all, we've got some coax cable, so I've just cut off uh, what five lengths of coax cable just to show you the difference different ways we I'm going to do this um, so we've got some some wire cutters a uh, Stanley knife or you know a sharp blade any sort of knife really various connectors here um, this is a crimping tool for a couple of these connectors this is a screw on tool for uh, some of the connectors here and that's it but some of them you can just do with a knife and your fingers and a set of snips so yes yeah, so I'll go through the different sort of things we've got. So first of all, to sort of describe what we've got. So we've got your normal, this is coax cable, this is the TV cable, or satellite cable. This is the regular sort of thickness um, of a single cable that your TV aerial signal comes down. If you've got sky or some sort of satellite, it'll often be, it'll either be two of these sort of glued together, which is quite rare, because it is the, it's quite thick, that cable. But certainly, um, if you've got Sky Plus or Sky Q or Sky anything really from, from the, at least the past sort of 10 years, you'll have what's known as a shotgun cable, which is two thinner versions of this sort of glued together. It's called like a shotgun, like a shotgun sort of setup, but it's a lot thinner than this. Um, yeah, so you've got two actual feeds coming from your dish going into your satellite box. Um, I won't go into why in this video, this is merely on how to prepare and join cables using different connectors okay so first of all you've got your coax connector normal coax connector or IEC connector I'm sure you're familiar with something that looks like that that's your connector that will be on the end of a cable that will go into an aerial socket in the wall and the other end of the cable with one of these will go into your TV or your recorder okay that's your coax plug or connector or IEC connector if you've got satellite, um, you'll notice that they, they're not like this, they're threaded. They're sort of screw-on connectors, and that's what this is. And this is, a, they're called F connectors, F for Freddy. Now these um, work in a slightly different way, where they actually sort of semi-clip on to the, uh, the input of the device, like a satellite box or TV, and then screw on. And then they're designed to be right a much more positive connection however they're not you know they're not um faultless because say these ones are just ones that you prepare the cable and screw on with your fingers and away you go which i'll show you in a minute but they can come off you know certainly if the cable's pulled i'm sure you've come across it where you've say moved a skybox or moved things out of the way and the cable has just come out of the connector and it's just been left there useless so that's where some different sorts can come in, where you've got these ones. That's an F connector again, you know, it's a threaded sort of screw. But the cable is prepared, it goes in the back of there, but then it's crimped on. It's called a compression F connector. Um, and you're not going to, with used with the right sort of cable, you end pulling that off. That ain't coming off, you know, it's a permanent fixture. Once they're crimped down, that's it, that's that connected, that's that connector used. You can't do anything ever with it again. And then we've got some joiners where we could join two pieces of cable together. So this is the most common scenario. Somebody wants to extend their cable longer because they're moving their TV to a f another side of the room or something. So you'll have one sort of connector on here. You'll need another one on the this bit of cable. Say this is the extension going somewhere else in the room. And you'll need to join them together with either a coax connector, which joins two, it's a female connector which joins two cables together or a female F connector or F barrel barrel connector which does the same thing okay so let's get into showing you how we prepare them so I'll start with the most common scenario where your average person DIY sort of scenario where they just want to prep a cable so you'd have a piece of coax cable whether you get it from, well, wherever you get your cable from, and you'll need a Stanley knife or sharp blade, okay? Take the blade, got your cable there, just obviously watch your fingers when you're doing this, and come down about, um, let's say, just over an inch. This is for the TV connections, okay? TV uh, coax connector. 
And basically what you want to do is you want to score that cable. So you literally score it and pull that first rubber sheathing off, leaving you with that, okay? We then want to get the braid out of the way, sort of fold it down. You'll have this foil sheathing, uh, screening, sorry. That can come off, that's no problem. But get the braid, you don't want to cut all the braid off. You want to keep hold of that braid, try and get it all around to one side, pull it all one way, and then twist it. Pull it, twist it. This is actually really poor quality cable. I'm only using this because I had some off cuts of this cable I don't really care about because it's not expensive, but there are different benchmarks and levels of cable that we use. And I use the highest quality ones because I'm CAI registered. I have to use it. And it is very, very good quality cable, but it's five times the price of this. But for demonstration purposes, this will do. So um, yeah, so we've got that braid. I've got it in like a sort of a pigtail now. You see that? What I do is one of two things, just wrap it around the bottom. So I end up something like that. Okay, that'll do for now. Now we need to get rid of the foam screening. And to do that, we've got to leave, say, half a centimeter or so off the bottom. See how I did that? Sorry if I was out of shot, there we are. But see, it's just sort of scored. Twist, pull. So now you've got the copper core, the foam protection, the braid, and the outer protection. So that is, that's basically prepped now, ready for your coax connection. So you undo it. They come in a few parts. So that goes on first, then you've got this clamp which goes over the top and that is clamping over that braid I folded down. Next, so you've got two more bits in there but this will normally be just sat inside there. You slide that on, right down to there, so I've, that's just loose at the moment, but that's just pushed down onto there like that, see? Push up, so take this and then screw it on. Finger tight, nice and tight. That's nearly ready. We've just got that excess core showing at the top. You can't have that because that's just going to hit the inside of your device. So I'll get my snips, get as far into it as I can. Gone. That's it. That's what we're left with. And that is ready to go into the back of a TV or into an aerial socket. If that was going into an aerial socket straight into the back of a TV, one end that will go into the wall socket and you'd have exactly the same plug on this side of the cable going into your tv okay very simple next we'll have a look at the f connection so same again this time we're going to strip off a little less about an inch or just under so a score right round in a circle pull that off Again with the braid, get it all in one sort of place. I twist it and run it down the side. Okay. There is there are uses for this braid. Um, it can be used to actually carry uh, power on certain connections to power certain amplifiers, etc. I won't go into that today. This is merely just to how to connect cables, but we never just get rid of this braid. We just have to keep it bunched up and out the way in a certain place. What we can't have is this braid touching that copper core of the cable. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So let's get rid of that. Oh, it didn't quite cut through, so. I hope you're getting this. I'm pretty rubbish at where I've got to put my hands but again leaving on a little bit of the foam showing first off and away we go right so now you're left with this so with the screw the push on or screw on fit F connectors that are on the market these can be picked up from screw fix etc they literally are supposed to just go onto the cable and you screw them on 
you screw it and screw it basically till the foam inside that inside there is level with the bottom of the the part where you actually hold it with your fingers you can't have it up to the up level with the top of the connector that's too far level with the bottom of the barrel I don't know if you can see that so we've got that braid showing at the bottom there that's no problem we then trim this down so you've got about half a centimeter maximum showing like that is that better okay so that is now ready to go into the back of the satellite box and then it screws on all right if you imagine this connection here is that's what's poking out the back of your sky box this cable you offer it up to it push and it'll just click in then you screw it on it's nice and tight and that i'm just going to pull out i'm pulling that with my left and my right hands pulling it apart that won't come out it will but you'll have to give it some real lymph okay now what i'm going to show you that about the braid so what you can't have is this braid up wrapped up around this cable all bunched up and braid touching the copper core sometimes i've gone to customers houses they've got a real bad signal first thing i check is the cable and if there's braid touching the core that will just completely eat up your signal it'll just completely mess it up you know in layman's terms it will mess it up but it, it just completely gobbles up all your signal strength yeah so if you've got something like that the braid touching the core that's a big no no can't can't be done can't have it so that's got to be right out of the way if anything it wouldn't hurt too much and the most basic application certainly just for connecting into a box to get rid of it but it's better practice to keep it but just keep it out of the way all right finally i'm going to show you oh sorry before i forget this thing here is for when i was screwing this this cable onto there sometimes it could be really quite hard because this this cable's the perfect diameter for it it's warm and it's supple it's easy for me to twist that on with my fingers sometimes it's ever so about half a millimeter thicker and it's cold and stiff and it's very hard to get these on so sometimes you have this and that's a screw on connector push fit connector so i screw the connector onto that and now I've got this thing in my hands rather than just my fingers to push onto the cable and that'll go on using much more brute force and then you hold the connector and unscrew this and that's right on there much easier okay finally for f connectors we've got this sort okay but well, this has its own prepper or cable stripper so you see this cable apply this spin it spin it right. done notice the braid is a lot shorter but it's still there it's still there and it's obviously plenty of braid still underneath this sheathing you don't have to get rid of that foil because the foil is cut off it's not going to touch the uh, the copper core the copper core is the thing we want to protect um, so yeah, so everything's out of the way that needs to be out of the way. This co this connector then just pushes on, and part of the inside of this connector slides underneath the rubbish the the PVC sheathing and is in contact with the braid because we want to be in contact with the braid for certain applications. But that is now pushed on. What we then have is this crimping tool, which is exclusive to this brand of this brand of connector. That goes on underneath and we crimp that down and that's a compression fit connector and that is the prime way of doing it there are other crimp on versions and different compression versions by my different manufacturers but this is what i use day in day out this is all i use now they're not cheap though you know they are no yeah, not cheap each connector is probably 10 times the price of one of those pushing ones so they're not they're not the sort of things you just have lying around the van because you don't want to lose them because they do cost a lot of money but they are not coming off you could pull that to the heart's content that ain't coming off 
Right, connecting two cables together. So, for this, I've got another piece of cable. And I'll just quickly prep another one of these. That shoe can, that can come off, doesn't matter. Put that on there. So what we've got is, say that's the end of your satellite cable and you want to move your skybox to the other side of the room, you need to be able to join another piece of cable to this original piece of satellite cable. So let's say you've bought another satellite cable with one of these F connectors on the end. Fantastic. This is going to let your skybox be located the other side of the room. But how do we join these two together? With one of these. F barrel is an F connector barrel. So again, you just push it on and it clicks. Twist the one end on, push the other end on, click, twist it, screw it on, and that's it. That is on. That is a perfect F connection. It's not watertight, you can't have that outside, rainwater will get in. But that is the most positive coaxial connection you can do. Obviously you can do the same thing with this middle barrel with the push on or screw on F connectors. It doesn't matter but I used the uh, compression connectors for this demonstration just to show that is exactly how it should look. Okay certainly when joining satellite cables but that's all I use. I don't use um, TV coaxial cable versions so Again, you can do them. So if you want to extend your TV aerial cable, the, the normal cables you pick up from Amazon, Screwfix, that sort of thing. You've got one TV aerial cable. You want to join it to another TV aerial cable. Let me just prep it. Let me just prep one so we've got one to show you quickly. just so I could get it done quickly. Yes, I've done it before. <laughs> okay, original TV aerial cable. You want to move the TV, it's just not long enough. Here's a new TV aerial cable. How do you join the two? With a slightly different connector. I'm sure you've seen them. One of these female barrel coax connectors. One end goes in there, the other end goes in there, and that's it. That's joined. Okay, it's not as good as this one because this one's screw fit and compression connectors. This one will just come apart by pulled, but I had to put it, you know, it's not going to just fall apart. Sometimes they are very loose. And thing to bear in mind as well, whether it's these, any connection in cables, you do start to lose signal strength by doing that and quality. That's why we use these because you lose minimal strength and quality using this type. This type, if you've got uh, a short fly lead from the TV point in your room, which is about two meters long, and you want to stick it to the other side of the room, you might have one of these joining another cable and then another one joining another cable before it gets to the TV. Your signal strength will have deteriorated a lot. I don't know how much exactly, but a lot. Um, and that's where you can start to get signal problems with your, problems with your picture, okay? So it's something to bear in mind. Don't just join up cable after cable after cable and expect it to work. It's not electric cables, which you can pretty much do that to a certain extent. Just keep joining them with TV aerial signals, digital TV signals, satellite signals. It doesn't work like that. It will deteriorate and eventually just completely dissolve. Okay, so that's it. Um, hope you found this video interesting. There are parts in this video which might be a bit of waffle and parts of it which might be useful to you or anybody else looking to connect cables. But hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.